Older generations of Reddit, who were the I don't use computers people of your time. When remote control TVs came out, I suggested that my father buy one, and he said said, it will be a cold day in hell, when I'm too lazy to tell one of you boys to get up and change the channel. It was such an amazing sentence that I committed it to memory, and I still remember it word for word 50 years later. Some people still had outdoor toilets and were laughing at those who had them installed inside because they are shitting their own houses. I lived on a homestead for a little while. I had an outdoor pit privy toilet. I hand carved the toilet seat myself. Sometimes I miss watching the sunset while taking a dump. It was way better than being stuck in a small room reading Reddit on my phone. Unless it was raining. Wiping while holding an umbrella is trickier than it looks. My mom was just telling me about when answering machines were new and how people were so fearful of them and refused to leave a message. She got promoted at a job because she didn't mind calling clients and leaving messages. When I was a kid, late 50s early 60s, seat belts in cars were an option. Lots of people thought they were unnecessary and refused to pay extra for them heaters and windshield defoggers were likewise optional. My parents bought a new 1964 Plymouth Valiant and didn't get the option. My dad once told me a story about his grandmother refusing to fly in planes because she didn't want to get her hair all messed up from the wind. My grandmother is 89. When she was a kid, she had an uncle who hated cars. He called them machines and refused to drive one. It cold been job security though, her whole family worked for the railroad. My 89 years old mom pays for cable, but insists on watching only PBS and occasionally NBC, CBS or ABC. The other channels are too much technology to find on the remote. She also buys multiple boxes or cans of food, dates them in Sharpie marker, records the price, less coupon or sale special, and has a rack of all her finds. She will never eat all the oatmeal or beans in our collective lifetimes. But she was a depression era child, so I get why the urge to stock up on food is strong. My grandmother didn't like to use the remote control for her television because she was afraid it would break somehow and function as a laser dangerous enough to set things on fire. My grandmother drinks only hot decaf coffee 95 degrees with 100% humidity. Hot decaf coffee. Feeling parched after a day of hard work. Hot decaf coffee. And what to drink with your hamburger and french fries? Hot decaf coffee. Every meal. Every day. When I was growing up, we never had ice. That was a luxury. Cold drinks aren't good for your stomach. Edit. Grandma's from the states. Grew up during the depression. This is actually a very common thing in Asia. In China, they only drink hot water. According to Chinese medicine, cold water and cold things in general is very bad for your stomach. They will not eat refrigerated fruit. I lived in China for a few years and my roommates thought I was insane for refrigerating my watermelon. I found that was the safest way to store it because none of them would touch it. In Germany they don't put ice in their water. I've never liked ice in my water, so living in both Germany and China at different points in my life worked out for me. The US is actually pretty unique in that everyone wants their beverages ice cold. I'm the web designer for a local organization. Their treasurer refuses to accept card payment via their website. People have to print out forms, fill them out, and post them with a check. I also get paid by check with a handwritten note. They would be a much more popular and successful business if they just modernized a little. I had a professor in college that taught building systems. He was like 80 years old. Knew all the new ways to build a structure. Never used CAD. All of his details and plans were hand drawn. I've taught a couple of classes on how to use more advanced functions in CAD, none of my student had ever even seen a French curve before. I was purposely taught how to hand draft in high school, 2007, before I learned CAD. Back in the 80s I knew an old lady who used one of those really old toasters that could only toast one side of the bread at a time. As a present, we went out and bought her a modern pop-up toaster, but she wouldn't use it. She preferred to use her old one. 
my depression era parents refused to ever have a count because it seemed frivolous and unnecessary and my dad chose seat belts as the symbol of government over each and refused to ever wear one. In 1980, we took a family trip from Vatu STL, edited to clarify Virginia to St. Louis, Missouri, US, and back with four kids in the bed of a pickup truck. My parents didn't have back. I begged for it constantly, and every time my mom would send me outside for a few minutes. That way it would seem cooler inside by comparison. If it didn't, she'd tell me that I could go up in the attic and come back down. They bought an AC unit the year after I graduated and moved out. They just didn't want me to be comfortable, I guess. My senior year of high school, I had a series of newspaper articles in the local paper explaining how the web wasn't a fad and wasn't going away. Nobody but one guy at the paper believed it. It was 1995. My high school, I graduated in 2000, was like this. We didn't have computers in school, and although there was pressure to buy them, the administration claimed computers were a dying fad, and spent the money that was to go for a computer lab on new football equipment instead. Edit, this was in rural Pennsylvania and I assure you, I'm not making this up. Others did bring up a good point, and stated this is a tactic for administration, to spend how they want vs what the school needs. Also, according to people who still live there whose kids now go to school there the school did a 180 on technology in the early 2000s and kids now have computer classes. My grandparents laughed at the idea of a mobile phone or sending messages through the phone line when fax machines were a thing. My grandparents didn't like computers they still had a typewriter or wrote by hand. I was given a typewriter as a kid, but by then I was using Windows 95. Color TV. When they became common in the mid 60s a lot of older people believed they emitted harmful rays. When mom finally got one circa 1972 it was kept in her bedroom and we were ushered in to watch it only on special occasions. And we had to sit at least 10 feet away. My grandmother is 97 and told me about people who would refuse to get air conditioning or drink sodas because they the devil's work. She grew up on a farm in a two-room house with 11 family members living in that house. She always had sodas and the ack rocking and rolling all summer. I got made fun of for taking typing class. Only girls type. I had just started geeking out on says on my Atari 800XL. All my friends had Commodore 64s, so I couldn't trade games with them, and I had to type in my games from Byte Magazine. I just wanted to get my games in faster. It's a hell of a good skill to have now. Screw you Matt. My grandfather was Mennonite, but had moved to a city and worked in factories as an adult. He even used to watch TV until John Wayne died, then he got rid of their set. He said it was evil to watch dead people moving around on the screen as if alive, like watching ghosts. He would constantly tell us that TV was the devil's work. As a kid, I started drawing cartoon characters, like animal characters and stuff. One day he asked to see my drawings, and he was outraged, saying I was drawing the product of bestiality. Said it was evil. All that said, I loved him, and as I got older he and I got really close. He was a god-fearing man, but he was also a very humble, peaceful, and funny guy. He taught me woodworking, gardening, and the joy of just sitting quietly in nature. My grandparents refused to buy Japanese or German cars. They'd complain about the price of gas while driving cars that were unable to pass a gas station due to their humongous curb weights and 400 plus cubic inch engines. When my uncle retired from Ford, he bought a Honda Accord and my grandpa about threw a fit. At that time, Honda offered a 7 year 100k mile warranty, while the domestic brands only had 3 years and 36k miles. He wanted reliable. And he got it. My grandpa used to tell me that he was basically set for life because he learned to read and write. Mass illiteracy wasn't as long ago as we like to think. I went to architecture school from 05 to 07 and we did almost everything by hand. We rendered some on Form Z, but even most of our renderings were hand drawn and shaded or watercolor painted. I wanted to be an architectural renderer my whole life. And within a few years my entire skill set went from a career path to a hobby. P.I. really liked building models too. 
my senior year of high school, I had a series of newspaper articles in the local paper explaining how the web wasn't a fad and wasn't going away. Nobody but one guy at the paper believed it. It was 1995. Thank you for watching this fantastic video. Please tap one of the four videos on the screen for another amazing ultra reddit video.